everyone this is me rabab zehra from techx media we are at intersect 2025 and i have with me right now mr raina kesa he is senior manager at toshiba electronics so let's speak with raina and get to know more about uh, what toshiba is showcasing at intersect this time hi raina how are you i'm good how are you i'm good it's a pleasure to have you here with us uh, my pleasure so raina tell us uh, toshiba is here uh, at the event what it is showcasing this time Well, we are manufacturing hard disk drives, so this is our core competence. And um, one of the major applications these days for hard disk drives is the recording of video and surveillance data. So Intersec is a big show for us because all the industry is here, and we are promoting our products to be integrated in network video recorders, digital video recorders, and even large data centers dedicated to store the surveillance data. That's that's great. So uh, Raina uh, uh, you are with Toshiba for past 32 years uh, which is a long time you must have seen uh, uh, Toshiba evolving uh, along with that you must have seen uh, IT industry evolving so tell us uh, a little bit about your journey uh, like what what kind of evolution how how do you see this evolution over the years well hard disk drives are very really old technology They have been invented in the 60s already, and Toshiba entered the market of hard disk drives in 1967. That was even a year before I was born, and we had this big kind of dishwasher, washing machine type of hard disk drives with a stack of platter and just a few kilobyte of data, which was good for that time. The hard disk drive, as we know them today, have been more or less invented in the early 80s. So bricks of 20 megabyte, where uh, kind of old people like me may still remember this IBM PCs. Uh, 20 megabyte have been allowed at this time, so very sufficient for what we were doing. Um, but soon, well, we, we didn't have any digital pictures or any desktop publishing in these days. Only program code. That was good. But then people invented all these technologies, and the hard disk drive had to follow with their capacity. So the hard disk drive as a storage media is all about the capacity. So a megabyte, when think about a megabyte today, a digital picture has three or four megabyte. Um, so the hard disk drive just had to follow, and we uh, manufactured ever higher capacities for the megabyte to the gigabytes in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, actually, even around the year 2000, uh, when people Uh, took their data on mobile devices uh, like uh, music players or digital still cameras. Also, the hard disk drives found their way into this type of applications. And uh, I don't know, most people don't remember, but actually, I've one with me. iPod Generation One, invented by Apple in the year 2000. Mm-hmm. This digital music player. Was playing from a hard disk drive, a zero dot one dot eight inch. Uh, it was five gigabyte, and this was Steve Jobs' dream of thousand songs in the pocket. This was enabled by a Toshiba hard disk drive. Oh. Well, at some point later, when Apple also manufactured more with hard disk drives, at some point the flash component became cheap enough to carry music and. Um, the flash is more robust and so on. So today, in our mobile phones, in our MP3 players, even the laptops, it's based on flash. Uh, also, like one other piece of history, where we are really proud of, is well, we are talking about the largest hard disk drive mm-hmm. that we are showcasing on our booths. But I can also show you the smallest hard disk drives ever manufactured. This tiny piece is a rotating disk. It's a hard disk drive. Can you see this? Sure. Uh, four gigabyte, and uh, it was used actually in a mobile phone. Can you imagine a mobile phone with rotating disk inside? I'm feeling nostalgic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you hear? It's playing music from a Toshiba hard disk drive. Most of the people uh, are like me; they don't know this. Yeah. yeah, but this Before. is some great piece of information you have shared, and I'm so glad that you you were carrying all of it with you to show it to uh, the audience. Uh, that's that's great. Yeah. Uh, so the, the the mobile the the current hard disk drive of today 
um, are more like this form factor. So the hard disk drives have been, have been growing out of these devices. We are not carrying hard disk drives around anymore. No, this I cannot fit it in here. Um, and this is actually the form factor that kind of finally you remain. All our hard disk drives that are manufacturing have this form factor. Um, and today, we have recently launched and introduced into the market to 24 terabyte. So we have 24 terabyte in here. Um, the sort of future developments are all driven just by capacity. So there will be a 28 terabyte coming soon. Um, and uh, we are working on 30 to 50 terabyte in the same form factor. Um, the technology is somehow proven. In our laboratory, we have demonstrators for 30 to 40 terabyte. It's just that, you know, the hard disk drives, they are sold in huge quantities. Uh, data center need them, surveillance applications need them. Um, so they need to be somehow manufacturable at economic costs. Um, and this is what we are working on. So that new hard disk drives, although they are using the latest, greatest technology, are still affordable for the people outside. Yeah, because it's all capacity and cost. The need for hard disk drives will probably remain forever because mankind is creating ever more data and they need storage capabilities to store this ever more data. As long as we can manufacture them at a reasonable cost, hard disk drives will remain as a product. And uh, uh, that's some great information you have shared with us. It was a pleasure talking to you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Tech X to know more about what is happening at Intersect 2025. Goodbye. TechX, your trusted technology media partner.